Now turn to section four. Section four. In this section, you will hear a lecture given by Dr. Jespersen about children's language acquisition. As you listen to the talk, answer questions thirty-one to forty. First, you will have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen carefully and answer questions thirty-one to forty. Today, in our series of lectures on human language, we are going to be looking at the way in which children acquire language. The study of how people learn to speak has proved to be one of the most fascinating, important, and complex branches of language study. So let's look at these three features in turn. Firstly, why is it fascinating? This stems from the natural interest people take in the developing abilities of young children. People are fascinated by the way in which children learn, particularly their own children. Secondly, it is important to study how we acquire our first language, because the study of child language can lead us to a greater understanding of language as a whole. The third point is that it's a complex study. And this is because of the enormous difficulties that are encountered by researchers as soon as they attempt to explain language development, especially in the very young child. In today's lecture, we will cover a number of topics. We will start by talking about research methods. There are a number of ways that researchers have investigated children's language, and these include the use of diaries, recordings, and tests. And we'll be looking at how researchers make use of these various methods. We will then go on to examine the language learning process, starting with the development of speech in young infants during the first year of life. This is the time associated with the emergence of the skills of speech perception, in other words, an emergence of the child's awareness of his or her own ability to speak. We will continue with our examination of the language learning process. This time, by looking at language learning in the older child, that is, in children under five. As they mature, it is possible to begin analysis in conventional linguistic terms, and so, in our analysis, we will look at phonological, grammatical, and semantic development in preschool children. In the second part of the talk. I would like to review some educational approaches to the question of how linguistic skills can be developed. In other words, how can we assist the young child to learn language skills at school? Initially, we will look at issues that arise in relation to spoken language. We will then look at reading and review a number of approaches that have been proposed in relation to the teaching of reading. Finally. We will conclude today's talk with an account of current thinking about the most neglected area of all: the child's developing awareness of written language. That is the end of section four. You will now have half a minute to check your answers. That is the end of listening practice test five. At the end of the real test, you will have ten minutes to transfer your answers to the listening answer sheet.